that. Do all please make yourselves comfortable. Uh, James said that to video the whole thing will be happening, but if those who wish to take photographs would refrain from doing so until afterwards, that would be lovely, and then we can take as many as we like, can't we? Mm -hmm. okay. so, let's start with a word of prayer. Loving God, thank you so much for this happy occasion. Thank you for the all to come, perhaps unexpectedly, to support Greg and Jane in this wonderful occasion of renewal of their marriage vows. So we ask for your blessing on this gathering and on the whole trip to Scotland and everything that lies ahead, not just for Jane and Gregory, but for each one gathered here. In Jesus' name, Amen. amen. Jane and Gregory, when you first joined hearts and hands in marriage 40 years ago, you did not know where life would take you. You promised to love, honour and cherish one another to all things. Life has surely brought you both wonderful blessings and difficult challenges over the years. But here you are today, having fulfilled the vows to love, honour and cherish which you made on your wedding day. God is smiling as you celebrate here today and reflect back over the years as husband and wife. Today, you're going to exchange new rings in celebration of all that has been and of all that lies ahead. And your ongoing commitment to one another <clears throat> through all the ups and downs of human life. Now, in addition, you have chosen to incorporate the ancient Celtic ritual of hand fasting in the ceremony today. And this is a first for me, so I'm delighted to be doing this. Um, we'll do that towards the end when the rings have been um, exchanged. Uh, this ceremony originated as part of a betrothal ceremony rather than part of a wedding ceremony. And in all probability, it is the origin of the expression to tie the knot because ribbons would be placed around and then tied together. Today, this is part of your celebration of 40 years of love and commitment and your pledge to continue that commitment through the joys and sorrows of the years ahead. Do you wish now to reaffirm those vows you took 40 years ago? Yes. Do you like to face one another and join hands, both hands if you like? Gregory, will you continue to have Jane as your wife and continue to live in this happy and loving marriage? Jane, will you continue to have Gregory as your husband and continue to live in this happy and loving marriage? I will. Jane and Gregory, on your wedding day you exchanged rings as a symbol of the never-ending circle, which symbolises the eternal quality of God unending strength and unending love. May you always wear your rings as a reminder of your wedding vows to each other and your commitment to continue to live in unity, love and happiness. So, could we have the rings? So now if you renew your pledge, Gregory, please place your gift of a ring on Jane's hand with the words, with this ring, with this ring, I renew my pledge, I renew my pledge of love and commitment. Of love and commitment. With this ring, with this ring. I renew my pledge, I renew my pledge of love and commitment. Of love and commitment. Continue to hold hands with the hands with the ring. Okay. Okay. God bless these rings. And the two who exchanged rings in love 40 years ago on their wedding day are the going to be. Right, I need to, yes. Um, right. Let's.
express these rhythms, symbols of commitment and the binding together in love of two people. Keep Jane and Gregory forever safe in your circle of protection and love. May they, Jane and Gregory, may you be blessed with God's guidance, strength and direction to make your relationship continue to grow and blossom in the years ahead. May your home be blessed with joy and happiness and may you continue to strive to, with your help, make their hopes and dreams come true. You may kiss the bride. Oh. <laughs>